in the example one we are dealing with monomial functions we need to find its end behavior and degree it is easy to find the degree the leading coefficient and all and then go to the end behavior we will do this function uh, do this problem sorry describe the end behavior of the function minus 2 x to the power 3 using the leading coefficient and degree and state the domain and range so the first step would be just understanding this function analyze the given function let's see what it has what is the leading coefficient over here the leading coefficient is the number at the beginning i mean this is just for understanding sake that's the leading coefficient now that is negative two then what is the sign of this function it's negative minus right and what's the degree it's a monomial function there is no other term so degree is whatever is over here mentioned to the power the power you know that's the degree now the standard form is generally given by a x to the power n plus or minus over here now in this case it's minus and a is minus i mean sorry it's not plus or minus it's a only okay the a will be the plus or minus so then it becomes the function becomes positive or negative so this is the thing and x is the variable power n is the degree so this is the general form ax power n now over here we have this as the function you can relate it and we have these why is that important because based on this you can understand the end behaviors domains range and you can easily sketch the graph as well a rough sketch now in this question they have not asked you to graph but before we go to the second uh, first step you can do based on this function whatever we have over here you can write the end behavior domain and range but it's better to sketch the graph now if you're thinking how to sketch the graph i would ask you to stop the video over here go to the first video in this lesson the introductory video we discussed four important graphs so over there sketching the graph is mentioned so please stop over here pause it go back watch that video and then continue over here because there are four types of graphs and all are explained in detail the end behavior domain and range are explained in that video so please refer to that but i'll just tell over here now this graph in short i'll be telling you the graphs there are four if there is odd power or odd degree the graph will either be like this or it will go upside like this there are only two ways now which one is the correct one if it is negative leading coefficient the left side will be up right side will go down if it would be positive x to the power 3 or x to the power 5 or 7 or 9 any odd odd numbers that is 3 5 9 and so on the right side would be up and left side would be down for positive but we have minus over here the leading coefficient is minus so this is the graph now this is just the understanding from the given function you know you can sketch this it may not be appropriately correct you know it's not the uh, it is not exact graph it is just an understanding you know so now from this understanding of the graph the sketch of the graph you can easily write the end behaviors the end behavior as x is going towards negative infinity the function is going to positive infinity and as it moves to the positive infinity it is going to negative infinity if you're getting confused again i repeat please go back to the first video introductory video where all the end behavior domain range and the graphs are explained the domain as you can see is about the x-axis it's about all real numbers and the range over here is also all real numbers because it's going up and down if it was even number it would have changed so over here we have another check which you guys need to do so i would ask you if you have already watched the video the introductory video you know the sketch of the graphs just pause it and try it by yourself i hope you did it i hope you paused and tried now we will go through this quickly over here you can see the power is even but let's write what is the leading coefficient it is minus 10 the sign is negative the power is 6 that is even number 2 4 6 8 10 all these are even numbers now based on this function you can write the end behavior domain and range but before that let us 
sketch the rough figure of the graph. This is a rough graph. It's not the exact measures. You can see it's an even function. It'll either be opening upward parabola or opening downwards. It would be positive. If it was positive leading coefficient, it would be upside. But since it's minus over here, minus 10, it's down over here. And then now the end behavior as x tends to minus infinity function is going downwards. So it's minus infinity. Even when it goes to x positive infinity, it's just going downwards. So both the cases function is just at negative infinity. It's going downwards. And the domain is all real numbers. But the range is all numbers that are less than or equal to 0. Why? Because there is no part of the graph above 0. See, there is none over here, nothing. All the part is below, so therefore it is less than or equal to 0.